Today I'm showing you five tips to manage pubic symphysis pain in pregnancy. If you are pregnant and new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and press the bell button below so you don't miss any of my pelvic health tips to prepare for an empowering birth and postpartum recovery. Pubic symphysis pain in pregnancy is very common and it is experienced as a sharp pain right at the pubic bone. This joint can become unstable because of the pregnancy hormones and it can be triggered by movements like putting pants on, walking, going up and down stairs, turning in bed or getting in and out of a car, that kind of thing. So let's dive right now into what you can do to help with this. Our first exercise to help with pubic symphysis pain is butterfly stretch. So you'll get into a butterfly position for two full minutes. Make sure you keep your legs relaxed on both sides and if needed, you can use props under your hips to really keep your legs relaxed. So what this stretch does is that it gently releases the pubic symphysis joint to realign it when it's sore. Even though this exercise is almost too simple, it has worked wonders for my clients with pubic symphysis pain and I cannot recommend it enough, honestly. It will be super important after your two minutes of stretching to do three bridges to activate your butt muscles or glutes. Um, so why it's important is because it will act as a glue or a seal to maintain the alignment longer once you get up. You can do this exercise anytime your pain flares up. It can be multiple times a day if needed, or if you're no longer experiencing the pain but you're worried about it coming back, you can do the butterfly once a day as a preventative strategy. A good moment to do it is before you go to sleep. Exercise number two will be squeezing your legs in and out. So this is another way to realign your pubic symphysis if you cannot lie down and do the butterfly stretch. What you will do is simply sit on a chair, put your fists inside of your knees and squeeze them for five seconds. It doesn't need to be a super strong squeeze, but I would just say moderate pressure. Then you will put your hands on the outside of your knees this time and press outward again for five seconds. You're going to repeat this five times for each movement, alternating between squeezing in and squeezing out. So what we're doing here is basically using muscle activation to do a gentle pull on the symphysis a few times and help it to realign. Like the butterfly stretch, you can do this exercise anytime your pain flares up or once a day if you want to prevent it from coming back. Strategy number three will be using a stability belt. So what we call a sacroiliac belt can be a great option if you're experiencing pain when walking and moving around. Note that it is meant to be worn on your pelvis to stabilize your joints. It is totally different than a maternity belt which supports your belly bump and your lower back. It's also important to have adjustment straps on both sides to make it tighter once you have secured it on your pelvis. Now, most stores with rehabilitation equipment have sacroiliac belts in stock, but you can also order it online. The one I recommend to my clients is the Serola belt. A test that I like to do in clinic to see if a sacroiliac belt will work for my clients is to ask them what kind of movement triggers the pain normally. Whether it is, you know, lifting a foot off the floor or getting in and out of bed or turning in bed. So we perform this movement before putting the belt on and we rate the pain from zero to 10. Zero is no pain, 10 is the most extreme pain. And then we do the same, but with the belt and we rate the pain again. If it significantly decreases their pain or eliminates it, then I know that they will respond well to a stability belt. But if the pain remains unchanged, then I just leave it to the client to decide if they want to invest in it or not. Strategy number four is move smartly. Here are some ideas for you. So when you put your pants on, your socks on, instead of standing on one leg, just sit down. It will help a lot at stabilizing your pelvis. 
Use the log roll strategy when turning in bed and have something between your knees to keep your legs parallel. Sleep with a thick pillow or cushion in between your legs to keep your legs parallel through the night. Avoid twisting motion. When your feet turn, your shoulders should follow. When getting in and out of a car, you can use a plastic bag on your seat to avoid twisting and keep your shoulders moving at the same time as your hips. Avoid walking on uneven or soft terrain or even inclined terrain where one foot is higher than the other. For example, when you're walking on a sidewalk and there's lots of driveways crossing, then that makes it like a little hill there. Um, same thing when you're walking on the side of the beach where you have one foot that will be always lower than the other. In the winter, always use crampons to avoid slips and falls. Any sideway movement of the leg can trigger pubic symphysis pain. Focus on activities and sports with linear leg movement. So avoiding activities with sideway movement of the legs like skate skiing, skating, uh, breaststroke when you're swimming and stop and go sports. And my last strategy is to pay attention to your posture and make it symmetrical. So when you're standing, you want to keep your weight equal on both feet as opposed to putting more weight on one side or the other. This is something super common people do because that can misalign your pubic symphysis. Same thing when you're sitting, you know, trying to have equal weight on both sits bones and avoid crossing your legs. You will also want to avoid sitting on soft, soggy couches and choose firmer seating to keep your pelvis stable and balanced. Now, having these pain symptoms during pregnancy, you may be wondering how it will impact your birth and postpartum recovery. And I totally get it. You know, it can be super scary to think about giving birth when you're already in so much pain before even starting labor. In my signature program, I teach my clients how to best prepare their body and pelvic floor for birth while also helping them to manage their pelvic symptoms during pregnancy so they can approach their birth confidently. So if you're into that, you can sign up for my free birth prep masterclass in the description below to learn more about my program and how we could work together through your pregnancy and recovery. So I hope these tips are helpful and thanks so much again for supporting my channel.